Um, the day of my shot, um, I kind of get a little bit of energy on that day, a little bit of an energy boost. Um, but the next day after my shot, that's when my side effects really hit me. They're pretty overwhelming. Um, I get tiredness and nausea. And um, the only thing that I can compare that to is, um, you know, when, you, when you're pregnant, in the first three months, you get morning sickness. It's kind of nausea like that, except for the fact that the not the nausea never goes away. It lasts all day long, and the tiredness. Oh, I work, I work, you know, every day eight to five, and and the tiredness for me is it, it's rough. But and they say what to do for the tiredness is to get up and move around a little bit, and sometimes that does help a little bit. So. Um, the nausea is caused because um, our stomach's empty and the, the semaglutide um, slows down our digestion, which helps the pancreas um, make more insulin. And um, so a tip they give us and they tell us is to just try to uh, eat crackers and to stay away from foods that are hard to digest. You know, don't, don't eat things like raw vegetables and try to stay away from sugary foods and also try to stay away from high fat foods too. Uh, for me, both side effects are pretty rough. Um, the tiredness can be overwhelming. And so by the third day, my side effects begin to lessen. And usually by the sixth day, the day before my next injection, my side effects are just about gone and the entire cycle starts again. So if you watched my, my vlog last week, um, when I first started doing Ozempic this time, I decided not to weigh myself. Um, and what I was going to do is I was going to wait and weigh myself on in the middle of June for my next doctor's appointment. But after the first four weeks, I had done so good with my diet and I drank lots of fluid and I hadn't cheated and I was so excited. I felt like I had lost weight. So I, I weighed myself. And I wish I wouldn't have because um, I stepped on that scale and I looked down at that number and boy was I shocked because not only had I not lost any weight at all, <laughs> I also gained weight. I gained four pounds, so I was very discouraged. Um, yeah. So now it's time for me to make my decision. Should I stick with my plan and continue on my on my ozimbic journey and pray that my side effects will subside so that I can hopefully lose all this weight um, for good or should I quit? Well, according to the late great Mr. Randy Posh, the brick walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly we want something and losing this weight, being able to feel good about myself again is something that I really, really, really want. And so I guess I better buckle up, buttercup, and take my sixth shot tomorrow. So this is to my side effects. This too shall pass. I got this. Um, if you like tonight's quote, it's by a man um, about brick walls. It's by a man named Randy Posh. And he, uh, he was a great man. He was a father. He was a husband. He was a college professor. And after he learned he had stage four pancreatic cancer with only a couple of months to live, he sat down and wrote um, the last lecture and he dedicated it to his, his family. And um, I'll, um, I'll include a link below to, uh, to the, a link below to the last lecture. It's really a great must watch lecture it's filled with a lot of great advice and it's full of a lot of great life lessons as well so for all of y'all who have watched this long thank you very much um if you enjoyed my video please hit the like button and if you want to watch my journey please subscribe and please remember to always be kind because you never know what someone is going through and your kindness may just be what makes their difference okay Thank y'all very much for watching. Have a wonderful night. Bye for now. Bye-bye.